Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. I had one heck of a day, horrible day at work, <laughs> not gonna lie. And I'm in need of some thrifting therapy, so come with me as I go to my favorite two thrift stores by my work to decompress and find some treasures, cause that's all I need right now. I haven't been in a few weeks, so I've done pretty good. <laughs> and we're in the middle of getting organized, so I feel like it's okay for me to bring a few things home. So come with me for another episode of List It or Leave It. Hope you enjoy. Time to check the sales, just like always, 40% off home decor. Right away I found this measuring cup and I love this old school style of little pint glass and I decided to pick it up for $1.49. Here's what the glassware looks like. And I found this Schlitz malt liquor glass and they had like six of them. And they were only 83 cents. But after further research, I just decided not to pick them up. So I left them there. I love old bar advertising, but it seems like it's just not worth the money. Oh my gosh, as a Survivor fan, I was super excited to find these shot glasses for 41 cents each after the discount. And I decided to get all 10 of them. There's a couple doubles in there, and obviously it's not all of the seasons, but it had Vanuatu, Pearl Islands, the originals, the Outback, and many others. And I looked up sold, and they seem like they're gonna go for a lot. Check out this little gift set for $54. I think I might end up pricing them individually though to squeeze out a little more money because these sell for about $8 each. Here I am checking out the go out cart and I love when they have a bunch of these out because I usually snatch up a bunch of items before anyone else gets to it. This was a cute little duck. But yeah, didn't see anything that I wanted to pick up. Here is a really cute Dalton the Storytelling Dragon plush. They read five fairy tales. I decided not to get it because at $3, it really just goes for about $12 to $17, and we're really not hurting for plush. Plus, I didn't have batteries or a little screwdriver to test it, so still pick it up if you can find it for cheap, because it's cute. Here's a cute little mouse plush and it's from Eden and I could just tell by the tag that it was vintage. I couldn't find any solds or listings of this particular one and it didn't seem that special to me but here are some Beatrix Potter also made by Eden that have sold well as well as Arthur the aardvark. <laughs> and this is House of Hatton. We've shown this brand before. It looks very vintage, very nursery and it was $1.49, I decided to get it. And this little rattle as well, same brand. You've seen us buy a little nursery hanging before. And here are some solds of just other House of Hatton items. So if the price is right, I would say get it. We have not sold it yet, but I think they're cute and very nostalgic and someone will snatch them up. And as you can tell by the listings and the solds, it can drive a pretty good profit margin. Here's another cute plush that also reads a book of fairy tales, and this one is an owl, little wizard. Super cute, but I decided to leave it for the same reasons. And this is Mary Inglebright. I decided to pick it up for only 41 cents. It's one of those ceramic hangings, and I found it at the lamp section. You never know where you're going to find it. And here is a little emotions dog. Isn't he cute? He just screams vintage. There you go. There's the tag. Super cute with those little puppy dog eyes and I love when it has the plastic tag still on it. For 83 cents, I decided to get it. Here are some solds. Vintage Mattel emotions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just love vintage plush so much. Look at this cute cat tray that's made out of like decoupage or paper craft. I don't know what to call it. I decided not to get because it was kind of big and bulky. And here are some really cool sewing patterns or, you know, the fabric that you can stitch your own doll. But I have so many that haven't sold yet or are waiting to be listed, so I decided to leave them. Now, if they were like 25 cents a piece, I would have grabbed. And here's the little Wizard of Oz plush. It was 209 
and the solds and listings just weren't that high. So I decided to leave it. If it was for me, I would have kept. And now I'm just looking at the Halloween decor. I really liked this little cat votive holder. Halloween is one of my favorite things to decorate for. That's a cute little witch, but nothing stood out to me. So let's keep shopping. This Hocus Pocus plate was very cute and Rosanna is kind of hit or miss. I think if I would have had the whole plate set, I would have gotten it. And these plates were very home goods looking, so I didn't even search it. And they were $6.99 before the discount, and so was this. But they were nice, and I at least turned it over to see the brand. Now this is Hallmark, and I thought it was super cute. For $6.99, I decided to get it for myself, not to flip. Although I couldn't find any online. And look at these cute little scrubby, scrubby pad holders. I used to collect these. In fact, I have a whole bunch of Target ones. You saw me put it in my cart, but I actually didn't get it. There's a lot of cute pumpkins. Let's keep shopping, see if we can find anything worth flipping. Oh, that's kind of cute. Looks like it was Big Lots, though. In my experience, Big Lots doesn't sell well. I found another one of these scarecrows, so I put it back. Look at these cute little candle holders. <laughs> They didn't have a brand. They are really cute though. The only thing about this is Halloween or Falloween was not on sale. I really liked that plate. Garden Ridge, super popular. I found another one of these plates, so I just had to show that. <laughs> now this fox was by Heather Goldmine and it was $10, but I decided to look it up and her stuff can actually go for some good money. Here's some current listings. First, I looked up Fox, and I couldn't find the exact one. Then I checked Solds, and there's a lot of Heather Goldmine that goes for some good money. None of it was high enough for the price that they were asking. Now, here is some Polish pottery, also known as Boleszwawiec. I had to look that up, and hopefully I didn't butcher it. I probably did. Ooh, do you see that hair? Bonus gift. <laughs> it was $6.99, but I planned to sell it between... 30 and 50 dollars as you can tell this one sold for 30 this one sold for 80 um, but that one's bigger because that's a platter anyways it was really fun looking up solds because i've never seen the christmas items i have picked up bowls and plates before so look out for polish pottery and i learned about it from other people online so it's so fun to share information Let's keep shopping in the Christmas section. <laughs> I've seen these there so many times. And I thought this plate was a brand called Expressly Yours, but it wasn't. The Witches Inn. Super cute. I love finding witches that look very different. And this was a pail that I thought was Figaro, but I, I think it's an off-brand Deco 10. I couldn't find anything about it, but I did buy it. Stuck it in the antique booth. These look like they're out of their gourd. <laughs> and look how cool this is. It's made out of like felt. And these were very beautiful, but not worth much. But I did end up picking up these novelty Christmas, what do you call it? Oh, I dropped it. Pa toilet paper rolls. They're vintage and we're gonna lot them up together. Only 83 cents each. Love looking at the go out. And this is from Amsco. And check out this kitschy metal tin for only $1.49. Super happy to snag that before anyone else grabbed it. I'm just very busy, y'all. Moving right along. I love looking at the planters, and this is Shroot Farms from The Office. I'm a big Office fan, but I decided against it, probably because of the r gravel at the top. It was $1.49, but I don't pick up planters as much as I used to. Here is a cute little critter bell from Josco, very popular, but I've never seen this little dog in a sugar canister, or on top of a sugar canister, I should say. For $1.49, I decided to keep it. Just browsing all of the miscellaneous stuff, and I found some tiki umbrellas for my bar. This is my happy place. Nope, put it back. These are some plastic vintage coin wrappers. And I looked them up and they don't go for much at all. Not many people wrap their coins anymore. 
This was super cute. It's almost like a little emoji Minnie Mouse pillow, but it was very popular. I searched using Google Lens, and this is what I found. Wasn't high enough for me, especially because it was big. These, I didn't even know what they were. <laughs> so if you know what they are, let me know. I used Google Lens, couldn't find it. This was super cool and nostalgic looking orbs. I couldn't find it anywhere. I really liked the cardboard container, but unfortunately it was empty, so I left it. Next, I found this really cool fish platter. It had a mid-century vibe to me, and it said from Global Views. It was only $4.39 after the discount, and I looked on Google Lens, and that's what I found, and let's look up some eBay solds. I see different ones, different sizes. I have the one on the top. Look at that, $140. And I'm so glad I picked it up, even though I love to keep it. We sold it for $62 plus shipping, and it sold in less than a week. Next was this cute little cat cardboard standee. It says it's the perfect pet. I think it's really cute. I picked it up for 83 cents, and we'll probably put it on the booth. I couldn't find any solds for it. And this I might sell in our booth as well. It's a vintage ashtray. So many online, but it is mid-century looking to me, and it was only three bucks. I love the gold of it. And this one I decided to put back because I didn't want to pick up too many ashtrays, and this one was a little more expensive. I really liked it though. Next is a really cute finger food tray from Fitz and Floyd. It was only $3, and I love Fitz and Floyd, but the cool thing about it is my mom fingerprints for a living, and I did not find any solds. This was on the Go Out cart, and it's from a Shrek movie. It is the baby of the donkey and dragon, and it goes for great money. Look at that, $15. So I decided to pick it up, and I expect it to sell any time of the year, really, but especially in Q4. Now, this is a piece of studio pottery, but I really liked the colors. And you know, shrimp plates can go for some good money. I decided to get it just because I liked it, and it was $2.09. I couldn't find that particular artist. Now, this is a sugar container, but it did have that crack and a lot of crazing. I decided to put it back, although $2 wouldn't have been bad. This was really cute. It's a little skull ceramic mug by Silvestri, which made a lot of gift products. It was only 83 cents, and I'm going to give it to my brother. Shh, don't tell. Now, here is some Ironstone from Independence, and I've noticed the name Interpace before. I decided to put it back. I love the colors of this bowl so much, and it was Department 56, only $3.49 because Halloween doesn't have a discount. I decided to get it because I just love it. And with that huge cart full... This is all that I picked up. Wine maketh glad the heart of man, and it maketh women giggle. We're at Thrift Giant across the street now, and I love these plates. My mom gave me them about two years ago, and I actually used them around Halloween time, and I decided to give to my brother for Christmas. Andrew, if you're watching this, you're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, I love it, and it was only a dollar each. And this I have never found in the wild, but I actually already have one. It's one of those milk and cookie mugs. I did end up picking this up because it looks vintage Disney to me. And a random side note, these baskets drive me crazy. I always have to go like this because I have dropped things out of those holes before. Look how cute this Halloween decor was. I ended up getting it for myself. Looks like the person who made it or the brand is Mark Clapsaddle. I need to look him up. But anyways, in the car to go is gonna be part of our regular decor. And on the same shelf were these bottles I thought were cool, but they were Hobby Lobby. But I really wanted this. This is Bialetti, and I knew from previous research that this is a good brand. And espresso makers like this go for about $20, 15. However, this one was all orange, and it sold very fast for $54. So look out for that brand. And here's a wooden puppet stand. You can also use it for other things. New in the package for $4.99. I'm getting it for my classroom. I already have one of these, so I might give it to my brother. I thought this was super cool. It's for fairy doors. You put it on a tree, or I guess you could hang it inside, but they sell really well. Now, mine doesn't have the box, but I still expect to get a great profit from the Irish Fairy Door Company. <laughs> 
the worry plaque. I found another wooden stand, four dollars. It wasn't sealed, so they took a dollar off. And this is a made in England mug. It just looked interesting to me, and for 95 cents, I decided to take a chance on it. Not picking up as many mugs as I used to. I decided to not get this Fleetwood Mac tour shot glass, just because I wasn't feeling the vibes. And I'll leave you guys with this interesting pottery vase for only $2.99. Thank you guys for watching. Keep digging for treasure, because you won't find it if you don't look. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.